answer. I've only got about four minutes left. I think that's enough time to do my all-time favorite problem. So let's go ahead and go to this all-time favorite problem. It is an additional slides problem, meaning I will put it in your recap email tomorrow. But we're going to dive into it, and this is going to show you again how prime factors are just so, so powerful. And I think once we get into this problem, you're going to see why it is my all-time favorite. It it's, looks kind of complicated, but it's not really that bad. It says if A equals 105, and A cubed equals 21 times 25 times 45 times B, what is the value of B? So really, this is just a straight-up algebra problem. We're going to try and get B on its own, so we're going to divide both sides by 21 times 25 times 45. In other words, we're going to bring those over and divide by them. So that would give us A cubed over 21 times 25 times 45 equals B. So that would be our first step. Now you also already know that A equals 105, so we could just go ahead and plug that in for A into that equation, and we have uh, 105 cubed over 21 times 25 times 45 equals B. And now, at this point, this is where everybody else in your testing room is going to go and start clicking on that orange screen calculator. They're going to take their mouses, their mices, however you would call them, and they're going to start clicking on that orange screen calculator. But not us, because we are ninjas. What are we going to use instead, everybody, instead of reaching for those horrible calculators? What are we going to do? We are going to break out the prime factors. That's absolutely right. Let's go ahead and prime factor these problems, and you'll see the amazing thing that happens. Everybody tell me, what can you, what do you know definitely goes into 105 right away? What, what do you see immediately can go into that number? Five, right? So let's go ahead and do that, and 105 divided by five is going to be what? And yeah, that's actually pretty straightforward because 5 goes into 10 twice, and 5 goes into itself once. So that would be 21. And we'll go ahead and break this down. 21, we know breaks down into 7 and 3. That's right, Maria. So 21 we've already done, 7 and 3. 25 is, is pretty easy. That's just going to be 5 and 5. But what about 45? Everybody do that one for me. What is 45? end up breaking down into everybody put it in the chat this is our last problem of the night i want to hear from absolutely everybody what are we going to break that down into we're going to break that down into a nine and five or going just a little bit further which i see a lot of us did that's awesome three and three and five okay so here's what we're going to do on top, instead of writing 105 cubed, I'm going to use the prime factors. And I'm going to say, okay, 5 times 7 times 3, there's 105 once. Cool. Let's do it again. 5 times 7 times 3, that is now 105 twice, or 105 squared. And if we just do this one more time, 5 times 7 times 3, that is going to be 105 three times. So if I was to multiply all those numbers together, whatever the heck that is, that is going to be 105 cubed. Now on the bottom, instead of 21, let's just write 7 times 3. Instead of 25, let's just write 5 times 5. And instead of 45, let's just write 3 times 3 times five and now everybody what do we get to do up here on the big board let me hear from ya watch uh ho, ho, ha you you tried to get away ho ha you cannot ho ha he Ha, ha, ha. And how many survivors, everybody? 
do we have of this total bloodbath up on the screen? Who are the last two standing? It's just the seven and the seven. So we've got it. Our right answer is going to be answer choice D. 49. No math needed. No math at all. It's just a matter of breaking it down, seeing the building blocks of your numbers. And if you get really, really good at these prime factors, here's my promise to you. If you get really, really good at these prime factors, you will never do long division ever again for the rest of your life. How does that sound to y'all? How does it sound never doing long division ever again? You, you can, you can hold me to that, Marcel. You absolutely can do that. That's how strong prime factoring is. That's how helpful prime factoring is. So um, that can really, really help you out. Yeah, exactly, Dahlia. Exact, I love the way you're thinking. You're already starting to put it together. And that's awesome. Uh, but I like writing it out just so I can kind of keep track when I'm crossing.